Okay, let's get started. Your current energy for the month of June is the Five of Wands. So what this says is that there's a lot of conflicting energy, not necessarily in a bad way, but just in um, there's different energies going in different directions, right? And they need to get organized or synchronized. So depending on you, keep in mind, this is a general reading. So there are many different ways to take this, take it as how it applies to you. This could be different people at the office. You know, like one of the first things that popped in my head is like a busy, like a cube farm. And like, you've got one guy going one way with the clipboard and I hear like the phone ringing. And then like you hear the, the big printer, like making the noise as it's coming on and shooting out papers. And then, you know, you've got somebody else answering the phone and it's just hectic and almost chaotic, right? So this could be the scene going on at work. Um, maybe you're being asked to participate in different projects, right? With different um, suspense dates, or this could be all the different energies within you. Maybe you've got different, you know, several children that you're trying to you know, corral over summer. Um, you know, one's going to camp here, one's going to swim camp there, one's going to this practice here, or even your own personal um hobbies, your jobs, right? Um, Full-time job and part-time job that you're trying to get off the ground. So this is just showing that during the month of June, I feel like you're going to be feeling a lot of different things pulling you in different directions. Okay, here we've got your challenging or helpful energy. The four of athames. I would definitely say this is helpful. Um, take a break. All right, what this is saying is that there's going to be a time and it could just be time that you set aside to take a rest, take a vacation. Um, again, you know, this card is coming up a lot and it makes sense because this is the summer. Um, you know, maybe you are going to be planning a vacation. And if that's the case, then, you know, you don't have to worry about taking, you know, so-and-so to swim camp and then you know, all the other different things. Um, so take, just take a break and enjoy the peace and calm and quiet, right? If you're not going to take a vacation, it is just saying to take a rest, take a break, um, hit the pause button, tell everybody to like, just be quiet for a bit, you know, but just give yourself some time to decompress. Okay. This is the root of the situation. So this is going to be why you're feeling like that. Okay, here we go. The Page of Athames. I like this card. So this is a very young energy and not young in a sense of age. Again, I don't necessarily read these like other readers do, but young in experience, right? Maybe you're a new mom. Maybe you've just started a job and they're kind of throwing everything at you. Maybe you just moved to a new town and you're busy trying to join the PTA and, you know, the local, um, I don't know, welcome wagon. Do they have those? I don't know. But I, I hope you understand my point. So at the maze is the element of air, right? And that governs intellect, logic, our thoughts, our communication. So this is somebody, I'm sorry, this is an energy, right? Where you're I feel like you're very wise, very intelligent. And I feel like I, the fact that the owl is here, that the full moon is out and that it's at night, it's just like screaming to me about like experience, wisdom, intuition. Um, I want to say the more feminine energies of receptivity and kind of like, you know, sitting and watching Instead of, um, you know, as opposed to the other the other aspects. And I'm, I'm not saying that this is what you're supposed to do. I'm just saying, like, I feel like, how do I explain it? Okay, this is it. So it's almost as if um, an adult going back to to school, right? So you, you kind of tend to have more 
wisdom, more experience. You're more in tune with, you know, the rest of the world and you're more understanding of how things work and why things work. And that's what I feel like. But even still, with all of that, you're still very new at whatever it is that you're doing at some sort of I'm not sure. Clearly, this is going to apply differently to you, and maybe that's why it's not specific, but that's the root of why you're feeling, I feel like that things are kind of chaotic, right? All right. Here is your past. Now, the reason we go over the past is because it's still got its tendrils on us, because even though we're always like, Meh, whatever, it's done. I don't want to think about that or, you know, that's done and over with. Um, the past is who we are. It points us to how we got here today and definitely influences the choices that we make. Um, this is wonderful. The wheel of the year. So, so having this in the past, however, what I'm going to say is that maybe you guys are kind of on the downward swing of the wheel of the year right? Whenever this card comes up and it's not in the past, it's indicative of being in a cycle where things are on the upward trajectory, okay? Um, keep in mind our lives, the world, the universe, everything is moving in a cycle, right? Um, you have good days, you have bad days, you have good weeks, bad weeks, you know, a good year, a bad year. Um, everything ebbs and flows, right? And having this in your past position, I want to say maybe things were very, very good, you know, and now I feel like you guys are on um, almost coming out of that era. Um, yeah, okay. That's not a bad thing, clearly. Um, I just feel like, well, let's see what the rest of the spread has to say about this. Okay, this card is your crowning thoughts. So this will be any ideas you've got, things that are on your mind, um, things you're excited about, things that you're concerned about. Oh, the Queen of Wands. Okay, so let me see. So the first thing I think about is being practical. This card kind of urges us to um, be practical and kind of channel our energy uh, efficiently, right? So if you feel like you're being pulled in a million different directions, then that's definitely going to make sense that you're just trying to prioritize and figure out what's the best way to go about doing things. This card also speaks to us about creative expressions, um, someone who is kind and confident and nurturing and also nurtures the creative um, creative aspects of whatever it is that's going on. Um, there's an attachment to the home because, look, she's like sitting right next door to her house, right, right by her house. Um, and look how much the home takes up of this, of this picture, right? It covers almost the entire card. Home and family are very, very important, and that is what's governing most of the thoughts in your head. So I feel like whatever decisions you're making, Pisces, I feel like you're really trying to consider what's best for the home, how to, you know, best go about being efficient and how to be practical. Okay, this card we have here is your immediate feature. Again, this is relevant to when you are watching this video as well as to your specific circumstances. Oh, beautiful card. Ace of chalices. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So, okay, quickly, what I'm going to say is that it is comforting that I feel like the wheel of the year in that upward trajectory, you're still in it. So it's, it, pro things probably started on an upswing for you a few weeks or months ago, right? And here in the near future, I feel like things are probably still on the upswing for you. This is a new beginning, and it's just such 
I just want to say like a deliciously beautiful card. Did you guys ever pick honeysuckles when you were little, right? You, you pull out that one middle, whatever you call it, and then there's like nectar at the very bottom. And it's so sweet. And they just fill the air with this beautiful fragrance. You, you always know when there's honeysuckles nearby and it's just beautiful. Salmon, regeneration, right? They go upstream to have babies and they are like the symbol of regeneration. The sun is shining, blessing this beginning and your cup is so full, it is overflowing. This is nothing but beautiful. I absolutely love, love, love this card. So you guys are going to be starting something new. And there's a very big emotional component to it. So that could be a new relationship, a new love, um, a new job that you love, maybe a new hobby that you love that could eventually turn into a job. It's definitely a, a new a new love in your life, but it doesn't have to be a romantic love, okay? Here we go. This next card is your whole attitude about the situation. Yeah, the page of wands. So the first thing I think about is responsibility here. Um, again, this is a younger energy, inexperienced, not necessarily about children. Um, although it could be that, let me see. So this card is your attitude. It could be, you know, that you're thinking about your children because in this particular reading, the Queen of Wands is very, you know, very much attached to, to home and family. Um, and that's why I'm saying this could be, you know, children. However, I think mostly this is about wanting to sit out in the world and kind of try your own hand at whatever it is that you're you're wanting to do. This just reminds me of um kind of like a kind of like a child when you know they've been watching, you know, a parent try something or do something and and then the child is like, "Okay, I want to try. I want to try. Let me, let me, let me." Right? It's because you've been watching, you've been learning, and it just kind of makes me feel like maybe you've been stepping in as assistant manager and helping, or you've been watching how your boss is doing things, and you're like, I can do that, right? Um, so you're, you're finally kind of pushing out on your own and eager and taking that next step um, of more responsibility, right? And kind of just going to town and doing it on your own and just feeling very confident. Okay? So that's your attitude. And that's that's great, guys. That's wonderful. Here we've got the card that reflects the energies around you. So this could be your family, um, coworkers that you probably spend a lot of time around. Um, it's just the energy of anybody that is around you that could influence you and not necessarily by words and telling you what to do, but more along the lines of, um, of their energy and being Pisces, you guys are super, um, is it empathetic, uh, sensitive, right? You, you guys are super psychic and you would pick up on these energies. Definitely. So that's why it's good to know what the energies are around you. Yeah. See, here we go. The three of Athames. Um, so this card is about having to make an agonizing decision, about making a choice. Clearly, like, should I stay in this dilapidated house that at one point was probably beautiful, or do I try and go somewhere else and find something that suits my needs even better, right? So the, the choice isn't as simple as, do I leave this crappy house and find something better, but Maybe this is where her her family, you know, lived in for generations. And maybe this is where she had her children. And maybe this is where, you know, her and her husband got married. And 
it's been handed down, you know, through the ages. So clearly there is an attachment, right? That's that's what I mean when I say there's an agonizing decision because you're you're kind of torn, right? About should I stay or should I go? And this could be at work, you know, do I quit my full-time job and start focusing on my my hobby, my my passion? Um it could be in a relationship, right? Do I put myself back out there even though I've been hurt a million times? Do I or do I take that gamble um on that new whatever? But the point is is the energy around you is I feel like people might be giving you an option or an ultimatum or saying, hey, do you want to, right? Either that or they're recognizing that you're feeling that way. But either way, that's the energy that is influencing you and having some sort of impact on you. Okay, this card is what you need to keep in mind. Um, This is something that you're not aware of. Um, and it could be like hidden information and it's not necessarily hidden from you to be, to be dark or negative, but it's hidden from you just because you're not aware of it. That's all. Okay. Pisces, this card is about, um, a balance of sort of sort. Uh, it's the six of pentacles. And here we've got a woman who is rather well off, right? To the point where she's received enough that she can then in turn share some of that abundance and be generous. Here we've got her giving out alms to these two, but you need to keep in mind that when you are giving of yourself in any way, shape, or form, when you're giving of your love, your money, your time, your energy, Make sure that the recipient is worth it, okay? So it could be that this could be a sort of recurring theme in your life. Um, This is, I mean, considering the placement of this card and the spread, this is a, this is something you need to keep in mind, right? So maybe this is something that happens a lot, you know, like you are constantly being the shoulder to cry on, offering your advice, right? But then that person doesn't listen or doesn't appreciate it or doesn't even care that you took the time to to be that good friend, right? So this is just saying, you know, take care that you're giving of yourself to a worthy recipient, okay? So maybe tying it in into this new whatever, this new relationship, right? Or this new um, love that you might be chasing after, you know, in a, in a business sense. Um, you know, make sure that maybe the organization or this new charity that you're working for, just make sure that they are legit, right? Make sure that they're worthy of your time and your effort. Especially, here we go, the root you know, I was saying like, I feel like you guys are, you've got that energy of like the, um, you know, the adult learner that goes back to college, right? Make sure that like maybe the classes you're choosing are going to, are going to help you that, that they're worthy of you. All right. Now this card is the overall outcome for your situation in June. Guys, the Knight of Pentacles, beautiful, beautiful card. I think I just love it because it's, um, it's a female on top of this giant horse. And it's um, nothing against the guys, obviously. Um, we all have masculine and feminine energy. So, you know, to even to that point, if you're a male, I would even say, like, maybe embrace more of that feminine energy of receptivity, um, creativity, right? So here we've got someone on her horse, and she's just gotten done plowing her own field and whatever farmers do you guys feel free to help me out because I'm not entirely sure but you catch my drift and after she's done her work and after she has finished taking care of the fields she is then setting out 
on a on a journey to find another employer, if you will, right? So this card speaks to responsibility and success, finances, property, real estate. Who knows? I mean, maybe you guys have a kind of like a new love and you're thinking, hey, I just want to be a real estate agent, right? Or or maybe my new passion is buying and flipping houses. Um, whatever, you know, take the message and apply it to your situation. Look Look how gigantic this workhorse is. It's a very big muscular workhorse, right? And she's controlling it. So this is about your situation. You are going to be controlling your situation. You are the master of your destiny. This definitely is a good omen for whatever it is that you're trying to get on with in your life. Um, she is off to a new, a new job, a new career, right? And she's going to succeed and do well at it. Okay. 